Good afternoon and happy Friday. Welcome to Mrs. Abel's Cartoon at Noon. Today is Friday, April the 24th, 2020, and today is National Arbor Day. Arbor is just a fancy word for tree. So today is National Tree Day, and I can't think of anybody else that we'd rather draw today than the Lorax because he speaks for the trees. He's all about taking care of the trees. So I know it's kind of messy weather out there today, but still it's a great day to appreciate the trees. So let's get going. Grab a pencil or a marker and a piece of paper. Grab some things to color with. And don't forget that at any point in time during this lesson, if you need a little bit of extra time, you can always hit the pause button, get caught up, and then keep on going. So we are going to put our page in the portrait format, straight up and down vertical. We're getting the entire Lorax on there. We are going to actually start with his most prominent feature, which is his mustache. That's going to be about a quarter of a way down the page. We want to leave a little bit of room above that for his eyes and his eyebrows, and then his little fun furry orange body. So let's get going. We're going to start, first of all, with the Lorax's mustache. His mustache is Pretend you're riding a roller coaster. It's like over the hill and down and over the hill and down. It's almost like two rainbow arches with a nice smooth valley in between those. So basically you are going to start from the left side of the page, come up nice and smooth and over the hump, go down into the valley, over the hump again, and stop on that other side. All right, from the middle of that, right there on the dip of the valley, we are actually going to draw the bottom part of his mustache here. So first, we are going to come over to the left here. We are going to swoop over an, a curve that comes under and then kind of curves a little to the side like that. Same thing, we're going to go the opposite direction now. We're going to curve down, over, and like that. All right, to bring together the sides of his mustache, Really okay, however you want to do this, but basically it's a zigzag line that goes out and back in again, out and back in again, out and back in again. And you can do those as long or as short or as many as you want, like that. Same thing on the other side. You're going to come in, out, in, out, in, out, and join back together with that original line. So now that's the Lorax's nice, <clears throat> big, <clears throat> excuse me, bushy mustache. And later we'll add a little bit of these doodads to make it look a little bit like there's some texture in there and some fur, but don't worry about that for right now. All right, let's get the Lorax's eyes. He has nice big oval eyes. There's a good amount of space in between his eyes, so we have room for his little nose. Actually, let's go ahead and get his little nose in there. His nose is right above this spot, this center part where you, and it's just like a little... It's like a little oval like that, a little oval that sits right above there. All right, let's do his eyes now. Two nice big oval eyes like that that rest against the mustache. Same thing on the other side of his nose. Nice big oval eye. It kind of rests on his mustache. Again, as I always say, don't worry if they're exactly the same size. Have some fun with this. If you are drawing in pencil, though, you can always erase and make them the size that you want. But I'm going for it right with Sharpie marker, so we're going to keep on moving. All right, inside his eyeballs are two smaller ovals. And then two tiny circles at the top. So those can become the highlights inside of his eyes. And then you can take your marker or your pencil or your crayon or whatever you like, your colored pencil, and go ahead and fill in his nice dark black pupils. And at this point, as I always say, when you're filling something in, you can take your time and smooth out the edges if you feel like they're a little bit bumpy or they're not the exact same size. All right, before we draw, there's the Lorax. He's looking out at you. Before we draw the top of the Lorax's head, let's get those big bushy eyebrows in there. So his eyebrows are really just a tinier version of what we did for his mustache. So first of all, let's go above this eye over here. You're going to do a rainbow arch like that. And then from the same point, you want to go a little bit lower, another arch, like so. And then do the same kind of little zigzag thing that you did on the side of his mustache. That's one of his big fuzzy eyebrows. Let's go ahead and do it on the other side. Same thing. You're going to start, do a rainbow arch that kind of goes out and over his eye like that. Start from the same point, go a little bit lower like that. And then again, do that little zigzag action to make it look like it's a furry, fuzzy eyebrow. Now that you have his eyebrows there, you can go ahead and get his head in there. So right at the top in between his eyebrows, nice little smooth rainbow arch. That's the top of his head. And then to the sides of his mustache, you're gonna go ahead and bring the line down and stop at his mustache. There he is, he's coming together. All right, the so Lorax's little body. He's got a little kind of furry orange body. And the main part of his body, oh, let's get his mouth in there first before we put his body. I just did a little tiny crooked smile. So you could do that however you want. A little smile right in there. And I'm going to go ahead and color that in black. So he's smiling out at us. 
However you want that to look is Lorax's little smile. Sometimes his mouth is open because he's talking. Sometimes he's angry because he's mad that the trees are being cut down. So you can do the mouth however you like. All right, as I was saying, his body is kind of an oval shape, but he's furry a little bit. So I, I made this line a little bit zigzaggy. So I start right here where you had his head. You're going to go at the bottom of his mustache. And I'm making the line a little bit like jaggedy, if you will. So it kind of comes around. If you did the Cookie Monster a few weeks ago with us, it's kind of like that. We're going to go make it a little bit bumpy all the way around. And actually, I should have actually brought it a little bit further over so that matched up with this side of his head, okay? So make it a little bit wider. I'm going to leave it, though, so we can get just keep on going. All right, so that's kind of shows a little bit of his fur. Let's go ahead and get the Lorax's arm and hand in there on this side. Basically, same thing. You're going to kind of do that sort of fuzzy line that comes down a little bit on an angle then we want one that this is where his armpit is comes out like that and for his hand he has four fingers and they're triangular shaped so his thumb I'm going to put up in the air it's a triangle like that and then I'm going to have his hand facing down so one two three letter v's like so that make his hand on that side of his body let's do the same thing on the other side of his body you're going to put a little angled bumpy line that comes out from his body like so same thing right where his armpit would be Another angled line. And let's go ahead and get this hand on there. Same thing, four triangles. His thumb goes up in the air. And then I'm going to do four, one, sorry, three letter Vs like that that make his hand down there. All right, we're almost there. All we need to do is go ahead and get his little flat feet in there. Depending on how much room you have at the bottom of your page, I don't have a whole lot. So my legs are going to be little short legs. If you have a little bit more room, you can make longer legs. So the legs are easy. Basically, from sort of the middle of his body here, a line that comes down like that, move over a little bit, and we'll go ahead and get the other back of his leg in there. Turn this a little bit so you can see the bottom. Same thing, leave a little space for his leg. Straight line down. And then it's kind of like a little comes to a point, his little foot. So I'm going to go to a little point and then get it back together over there by the heel. So it's a little nice, sharp, pointed foot, however big or small you want to make those. Here's this side of this leg. Same thing, I'm going to bring that, curve that down to a point and bring that back over to connect to his heel. And there you have the Lorax. All right, let's get some little, before you color him in, you wanna go ahead and get some of that texture on there. So inside of his mustache, I use my Sharpie and I just did kind of some lines like this that make it look like the hair is separated. So you can do as much or as little of that. Same thing with inside of his eyebrows if you wanna put a couple of little lines. And then the other thing I did is I put these little sprigs all over to kind of make it look like he's furry. So you can kind of achieve that with your Sharpie or a marker or even your pencil and putting just little, almost like little whiskers that come all over his body. And that kind of gives that feeling that the Lorax has some fur. So you go to color him in, his, his mustache and his eyebrows are nice and bright yellow. And then for his body, I used a combination of two kinds of orange. I did a darker orange and a light orange and kind of blended those together with my crayon. But you could do that in marker if you like. He's pretty easy. You can also go ahead if you want and draw some truffle trees in the background there. The Lorax likes a truffle tree. I have one right over here. The truffle tree is pretty easy. Let's see, we'll, I'll, I'll draw a tall one right here. The, the trunk of the truffle tree is just like a long straw almost, like that, okay? Nice long straw and it has stripes all the way down. It just kind of scritchy, scratchy little stripes here. And then to do the top of the truffle tree, it's just a nice set, same thing we did with his mustache and his eyebrows you're going to do that but all in a circle to get this feeling that the truffle tree is nice and puffy like that and then you could color those all in if you put more than one truffle tree they can be bright pink or blue or purple because they are gorgeous gorgeous truffle trees so there you have it on arbor day the lorax so he is fantastic please share them with me you can always send me your awesome artwork and i love pictures of you holding your artwork please send that to k abel k-a-b-e-l-l -L, at myholyfamilyschool.org remember you can always go on youtube.com and look for mrs abel's cartoon at noon and you'll see all 24 Five. Today is the 25th episode, so you'll see all 25 of our cartoons there. And you can always post your pictures on Facebook and hashtag Cartoon at Noon. So that's it for this week, everyone. Have a fantastic weekend, and we will see you next week for more Cartoon at Noon. Have a good one.